Captain Forest here, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over both these combatants to see who would win, more often than not, in an inverse situation, Flash versus Hal Jordan. If you guys are new to my channel, please leave a like, comment down below and of course subscribe for the content, and also shoutouts to Slick and Niotic, they were both a huge help in this video, so much appreciate to them. Now, I'm going to go ahead, dive in, talk about the Flash a little bit, and then talk about how Jordan and then near the end of the video I'm going to go into a lot of detail as to who I think wins more often not in an inverse situation. So starting off with the Flash aka Barry Allen, there is a feat that was performed by both Barry and Wally where they were racing so fast that they were tearing the fabric of the multiverse. This feat in question should at least be around the bleed tier or higher but this feat already gives both these combatants out of versal scaling due to its placement in the DC cosmology. In fact, if you haven't checked out my DC cosmology video, I highly suggest you check it out, folks. We can also get both Barry and Wally higher than this. Easily, Barry and Wally were able to run so fast again that it was being felt throughout the Microverse, the Green, the Godsphere, and High Father even mistook the power from the Source War. So right there and there, we have some really good high-end stuff, really good ranges for Barry and Wally, of course. So this would put them anywhere from Altiversal, High Altiversal, Boundless, and even Extraversal tiers of AP. Now, Barry himself has a feat where he was able to beat up the Anti-Monitor and his armor from a different creation slash Earth with the use of his infinite mass punch. This is also an impressive speed feat for Flash as well. Lastly, in issue 4 of Dark Crisis, Barry notes that Pariah trapped them in their own minds, their own perfect worlds playing out their way which makes them not want to leave. Pariah used the energies of the Justice League to power up his machine, and the meddling of Hal Jordan and the Flash attempts to stop Pariah became counterintuitive as it instead further exiled Pariah's goal as their actions in fact sped up the process of Pariah's machine. So this is so this feat in question is very impressive because it was due to Barry's energy, because obviously he was running so fast, it was actually speeding up the process to create the multiverse. So right there and there you have some really good creation level feats right off the bat for the Flash. That's gonna wrap up the Flash in terms of like stats. He easily has immeasurable and irrelevant speed feats. I've gone over it many times on the channel, and of course I've brought one up as well in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about what he brings to the table in terms of abilities. So as a speedster, with his connection and power of the speed force, Barry is able to perform a lot of interesting hacks, such as stealing the kinetic energy from his opponents, rendering them immobile. He is able to vibrate his molecules and phase through objects and cause them to blow up. He can also negate other people's intangibility and Barry has also phased through Green Lantern constructs. Like other speedsters, he can BFR you into another dimension or back in time, like very far into the, in like centuries, which is very impressive. And he can literally just leave you so far back into the past so you won't even get back. He can also BFR you inside the speed force and leave you there. He can also spam and barrage of punches entwined with his speed and he can also perform the infinite mass punch himself. Barry can also vibrate and reverse the effects of injuries that occur to his body such as Supergirl breaking the Flash's nose and he was able to reverse some transmutation that happened to him when he touched some water. And the Flash is able to throw lightning as a projectile at his foes and lastly the Flash also has a causality type 2. Al Jordan has some pretty cool feats of his own. He's able to box up Superman with his constructs. On two occasions, Hal Jordan fights Parallax, Amped, Sinestro and does well. In their second encounter, Sinestro was amped by Parallax and the Fear Engine. Hal Jordan can contend with Laughleys, who was stated to be as a big of a threat as Parallax. Another impressive feat for Hal was when he was able to harm Corona, who was amped by the emotional spectrum and was specifically controlling Ion, who is the concept of will power and contained him inside the central power battery and Oli started losing when his ring's power was being depleted. But regardless, Hal survived a blast from Corona, which is very impressive. There are more impressive feats for Hal Jordan, but I think I've covered enough. Now, being the bearer of the Green Lantern Ring, this allows Hal Jordan to create constructs and use them for offensive, defensive, or for practical reasons. The user can use their imagination and ideas to conjure up different types of constructs. In Hal's case, he can create fighter jets to ram into his opponents. He can create giant hand constructs, large weapons. He can shoot concussive energy from his ring or create giant area of effects. He can replicate things such as a nuclear bomb, kryptonite, and he can also create shields and barriers. 
Okay, that's going to wrap up both these combatants. I'm going to go ahead and give my thoughts on who I think wins more often than not in a crossfire situation. So, looking at both these combatants and what they bring to the table, in terms of AP and speed, I would have to lean a little bit more with Flash when it comes to AP. They both have creation level scaling, however, Flash would be able to hold his own a lot better. He does have the AP to deal with Hal Jordan, and it's been shown, especially against his constructs. Now, in terms of speed, of course, no debate, Flash takes speed very easily. They both have really good speed scaling, however, I would lean a little bit more with Flash inverse-wise. He just has far more impressive feats of his own in comparison to Hal Jordan. Now, in terms of hacks, I would give it to Flash. His phasing, his resistances will also help him too. You know, air causality, very difficult to put down, as well as being able to just literally phase through things, go to the speed force. He can do a lot of things with Hal Jordan, of course. Hal Jordan does have some really decent hacks, but unfortunately, he doesn't really use them a lot in character. He tends to just rely on his constructs and physical AP and trying to use any type of tactics. Now, how would the fight go? Now, the fight itself, we've been given hints on how the fight could potentially go based on like certain situations. Now, Sinestro himself placed like a lot of bombs around the area in the city and it was up to Flash and Hal Jordan to deal with those bombs. Now, Hal Jordan used a Green Lantern construct. He put it on the Flash so the Flash could like carry it and run with it. And literally just the Flash running at such speeds, like that was literally fatiguing and causing a lot of strain to Hal Jordan. And after they successfully stopped the bomb, we literally see Hal Jordan going on his knees, just really tired, really out of it, and the Flash was still rearing to go. So I think if it was to come down into this actual situation of like them fighting, we've actually seen them fight in New 52 as well. Flash would abuse his phasing hacks. Barry would literally just phase through those constructs. He'd just drain them. He'd get past them very easily. Hal Jordan's means of defense would be completely irrelevant and eradicated due to the Flash's hacks and abilities and due to his speed. So if Hal Jordan tried to, you know, summon a huge swarm of constructs flash would just blitz right through no difficulty and once he gets through those barriers he's going to just bombard and just aura aura punch Hal Jordan into oblivion so he just pretty much essentially knock him out or if we go enough standard battle assumptions kill Hal Jordan so more often not I gotta give victory to flash I think the flash has the AP he has the speed and the hacks to pretty much just dismantle and get around and counter a lot of Hal Jordan's main abilities and his game plan. So that's my thoughts. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe for the content. It's been real. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.